Well, solar cells uh, based on perovskites uh, are one of the greatest surprises, I think, in the photovoltaic field. Uh, they barged into the scene mm -hmm. from left field. No one expected uh, that. They have moved so fast and made so much progress uh, that surprised everyone, including the originators mm -hmm. of, the, of the field. What makes them special is uh, you can uh, deposit and fabricate the solar cells from solution mm -hmm. uh, without needing any uh, special equipment or instrumentation. Anybody can do this. Um, at Northwestern, we have designed uh, an undergraduate lab where the students actually make their own solar mm -hmm. cells in an afternoon. Wow. Um, and no one would ever have thought that that would be possible uh, with the previous materials. Yeah. Um, and it's based on uh, uh, a couple of perovskite materials. One is uh, based on the lead, mm -hmm. uh, the methyl ammonium lead iodide, um, and uh, another derivative, which is a formamidinium lead iodide. Uh, this material combines uh, a number of great things in it. Uh, the solubility, mm -hmm. uh, the correct band gap, the high mobilities, the defect tolerance. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, anybody can do this in the lab. The stuff you make in the lab is not that great, mm -hmm. but it's very forgiving. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be pristine, perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. Or, yeah. uh, and that, that puzzles us still to mm -hmm. this point. But that's what it uh, seems to be. It's defect tolerant. Uh, and so when you photo excite carriers, you can collect them over long distances. That's what makes a solar cell work uh, when you're able to do that. So the rise in efficiencies and material quality and fabrication and so on has been spectacular in the last three years. Uh, we are at about 21% right now, wow. certified. Yeah. Uh, this is almost unbelievable. Um, and uh, people are very excited. The field has... Uh, exploded in, yep. in a good sense of the word, a lot of problems are being solved as, as we speak. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, lot. But there are also a lot of science issues associated yep. with these materials that we don't understand. That's not including the presence of lead. Yeah, in, so, in so that's is, another is that, issue. So is that a problem then? Is that, uh, are people worried that lead might leach out of them? And there is a worry, the yes. Oh. Lead might leach out and can leach out. These mm -hmm. are not robust systems uh, that bind the lead uh, so, mm -hmm. so strongly. So uh, that's a worry. It's not unprecedented to put a toxic element in, a, in an efficient solar cell. Yep. Uh, we have, them, we the we have the cadmium telluride. We also have uh, copper indium selenide mm -hmm. and selenium is toxic. Yep. I'm not hugely pessimistic. I, I am uh, cautious. Yep. Um, and I, I hope it can be commercialized. At this point, I'm, I would be more comfortable knowing that the technical issues would be taken care yep. of. Because when you wave 20% in front of someone, it's uh, they, are, they can enticing, be very forgiving yeah. Yeah. Uh, of, other, uh, uh, of toxicity and other things. Mm -hmm. uh, they will become more creative in trying to figure out how yeah. not to harm anybody doing this. Um, so you've been working to, re to replace lead in some of the materials, so haven't you? That, yes, so, I'm working to replace lead. It is difficult. It is not easy. Yep. We've gotten about 6% mm -hmm. uh, uh, right now. The good news is that on paper, if you do all the calculations, if you look at the material, uh, it's not that different from the lead. Mm -hmm. So potentially it could give you 15%, 20%. Yep. The bad news is the material is more problematic and more difficult to deal right. with, it's air sensitive, uh, it's more prone to defects, okay. it's not as de uh, forgiving to defects, and, and, it can be, and it can oxidize in a way that the lead cannot oxidize. Right. Um, and so all of that uh, complicates uh, the process of making progress in, in this area. Yeah. So I hope it would be a big deal if anyone who is trying to do this can come up with uh, 10%. Yeah. Uh, it will excite a lot of people. Yeah. Um, we know what the issues are. We're trying to solve them. And hopefully what we're trying uh, will will solve them or will uh, come close to solving mm -hmm. them. We know what our problem is. Yeah. Uh, it's a matter of now figuring out how to fix it. Yeah.